Hey, hello everyone, hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to create a fancy real-time button in Notion. As you can see in my screen, this is what it looks like in version 1. And now it's time to build version 2 with real-time button. Alright, so the very first thing that we are going to do is search in Defy in Google, in Defy. And here is our website, so let's click on it. And very first time you enter this website, you have to log in. So you can log in by two ways. One is email and one is by Google. So I'm going to choose Google. And also you log in, you'll find an interface like this. You can total use three widgets out of six. And also there is some fancy widget to use. So for this time, I'm going to use the button widget. So click on create a widget. And I'm going to name it as demo button. And then continue. I think I made a mistake on the name. So let's rename it. Now it's perfect. Sorry, now it's perfect. In the right side, you'll find the preview of the button. And in the left side, you'll find the option to customize. In the top of the left side, the first thing you can see is icon and text. So let's change the text. For example, it will be YouTube and then let's change the icon and choose icon as YouTube icon. Now it's perfect. And here is the preview of our icon. But I think we need to customize more because the black background, it doesn't suit with the YouTube button. So for that, we can see here is select color. So I'm going to choose the red one. And now it looks perfect. And here is the URL of your YouTube. So for now, I'm just going to paste my YouTube link. Now it's perfect. And also I click on the YouTube, it will redirect me to the YouTube page. So again, let's back to the widget. And also you scroll down, you will find few more options. For example, style, font family. Here we can see three type of font. The first one is default, serif, and mono. And also these fonts are available in the Notion. Then we can see size, button layout and few more options. I don't think we need this anything. It's all good as default option except few things. For example, we can see dark and appearance mode. So here we are going to choose as use system setting. So once your system setting is dark, it will appear as dark. And here also you can set as background color. But I think the default one is very good. So we don't need to do anything here. But how about if you want to add more button in this page? So for that, click on add button. And here you can see there is a button appear. So click on the button and now we can customize it. For example, we are going to name it as Instagram and let's change the icon as Instagram icon. Now it's pretty good, but still the black background doesn't look so good with it. So for that, we are going to choose orange. I think pink one is pretty good here. Yeah, it's perfect. And then we are going to write down our Instagram URL here. So for now, I already copied the Instagram link. I'm just going to paste it. It's perfect. And once I click on the Instagram, it is redirecting me to the Instagram. So again, and if you want to add more button just click on the add button now it looks pretty fine right so how to use it in notion it's pretty simple just copy the embed link here so i'm going to click on the clipboard icon i can see copy to clipboard and then let's back to notion and simply just paste the link you copy command p or control v and then create embed so here you go but it looks so wide so let's resize this i think yeah or yeah, now it looks perfect. And if you are still wondering the link is working or not, so let's check it out. Click on the YouTube and it is redirecting us to the YouTube page. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you still didn't subscribe, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.